the nari shakti vandan adhiniyam this is the historic bill brought by the narendra modi government to the new house of parliament the lok sabha today the women's reservation bill for which a wait has been on for almost two and a half decades the what are the five big things about the bill we will try and explain that in very very simple terms for our viewers today number 1 it reserves 33% seats in the lok sabha for women number 2 it reserves 33% seats for the women in all state assemblies number 3 there's a quota within the sc st seats in the lok sabha there are about 131 sc st reserved seats in the lok sabha at least one third of them will be reserved for women number 4 there's a 15 year sunset clause this means that once the bill comes into operation this reservation for women in the lok sabha as well as the state assemblies will remain for the next 15 years number 5 the timeline of when this bill will be implemented is not clear let's come to the fifth point first why is the timeline not clear now the bill makes one major clause in the bill says that this bill will be implemented after the decadal census the latest decadal census is complete followed by a delimitation exercise and after that the reservation for women will be brought into the lok sabha as well as the state assemblies the present census is delayed due to the covid pandemic it is still on the process is still on it will take some time for that census to be completed after that it, it takes some uh, maybe a year more for the census to be published and after that a delimitation exercise will occur this makes it very clear that the women's reservation bill may not come in the 2024 lok sabha elections at all in fact the government may be looking at a timeline of the 2029 lok sabha elections for the women's reservation bill to be rolled out uh, these are the five major things in the thing in the uh, women's reservation bill but what are the other major points that the government has brought uh, another interesting point one interesting point that says the bill uses the clauses that the 33% seats for women will be reserved as nearly as possible so this is very clear that as nearly as 37 uh, 33% reservation they can take the bill will uh, uh, ensures that that will be the uh, aim of the bill it also says in come into effect as we said after the delimitation exercise is done post the latest census indicating the changes could be rolled out much after the 2024 lok sabha elections the provisions will cease to uh, be effective 15 years after the commencement of the reservation importantly it says that one third of the sc st reserved seats in lok sabha and state assemblies will also be reserved for women PM Narendra Modi on Tuesday while speaking in the house the new house the new parliament building said this is the first bill being brought to the new parliament he has described it as an historic change he has urged all the MPs to pass the bill and said women led development is his government's resolve and the, hence the constitutional amendment is being brought the bill as i earlier said is very similar to the one brought by the UPA government in 2010 except the inclusion of the clause of its implementation after the delimitation exercise the text of the bill which was analyzed by news 18 also says that the step is being taken to enable greater participation of women as public representatives in policy making at both the state and the national levels and hence a fresh legislation has been brought as a constitutional amendment it says that while women participate in the panchayati raj institutions and municipal bodies their representation in the state legislatures and parliament is limited it adds that providing for higher representation of women at the state and the national levels has been a long pending demand it also mentions how the last attempt to introduce the women's reservation bill was made in 2010 under the upa government when rajya sabha passed the bill but the same could not be passed in the lok sabha the bill also interestingly says that the true empowerment of women will require greater participation of them in the decision making process as they bring different perspectives and enrich the quality of the legislative debates and decision making the prime minister recalled in his speech in fact that how former prime minister atal bihari vajpayee tried to bring the bill many times but could not succeed due to the lack of numbers this also is leading to kind of a credit war between the bjp and the congress over who has owns the legacy of the women's reservation bill while we all know that that congress claims and sonia gandhi today while entering parliament said ye to apna bill hai in a way saying that the bill belongs to the upa which got it passed through the rajya sabha bjp sources are clearly pointing out to the pm statement saying it was the vajpayee government in fact atal bihari vajpayee government which brought the bill at least six times to parliament but each time it was the congress and the allies that scuttled the legislation the bjp is saying the bjp is also saying that the vajpayee government did not have the majority required to pass it and was dependent on the opposition for a consensus the congress in fact which had the requisite majority in 2010 could pass the bill through only the rajya sabha because of support of the bjp 
but again it proved to be a lip service of the Congress, the BJP says, because in the Lok Sabha, the Congress, the BJP is saying, orchestrated a staged drama of its allies, who while happily being its allies, did not allow the bill to be passed. In fact, Sonia Gandhi, in an interview earlier to my colleague Pallavi Ghosh, has said that some in a, even her own party were opposing it. Today, there is a war now over who will get the credit and BJP and Congress seem to be in a political war of words over this. But the BJP clearly is saying that Congress has forgotten that its own alliance partners blackmailed it into withdrawing its support to the bill when it was introduced by the BJP. The Women's Reservation Bill will now be debated in both Houses of Parliament over the next two days and it's expected to sail through the Parliament. But when it will be implemented depends a lot on the resolve of the government. Will the census be fast-tracked and will the census publishing and the delimitation exercise which will start in 2026, will that be fast-tracked to ensure the early implementation of the Women's Reservation Bill? This remains to be seen.